I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use MemChat to prioritize your most important tasks so they align with your long-term goals. If you've ever felt overwhelmed or stressed out by the process of planning your day, figuring out what tasks to choose, and making sure that you're actually working on tasks that are aligned with your most important goals, this video is for you. So if you're ready to supercharge your productivity and make meaningful progress towards your goal, you're in the right place. Now, let's get started. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can use MemChat to plan your daily tasks at the end of each day and reflect on what you've got done. And this was something that I discovered a few nights ago because I found that I was doing a lot of things. I wasn't sure whether they were actually leading me to my intended goals or whether they were tied to the things that I was trying to accomplish. So I asked MemChat if we could come up with some sort of daily planning template that I could run at the end of the day. And the cool thing about this template is that it pretty much works with just one prompt. A uh, couple things to keep in mind is that just like most of the things you're going to do with AI related tools, it's not going to be perfect. It'll probably require some iteration to get it right. And you'll even see that in the process. And there are a few things that you need to have in order for this to work the way that I'm going to show you in this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to create some sort of daily planning templates. You can see here that I called it Srini's daily planning plate. Now, one thing to note here, the reason I called it Srini daily planning template was I realized that I probably have other mems that have titles like daily planning or something like that. And so the first time I tried to run this when I was recording this tutorial, it ended up getting a bit confused. And so I realized it's important to give this some sort of distinctive title so that it stands out from the rest of your mem. So that way the AI doesn't get confused. And what you want to do is create some sort of version of this. This is the version that I created for myself. And you can actually have MemChat design this for you if you wanted to. And say, I want to create a daily planning template where I reflect on what I've gotten done at the end of the day. So I had it actually generate this and I'll include a link to a public version that you can download for yourself. But in this case, it's called Srini's daily planning template. There's one other aspect of this that is really important, and that is a mem titled Your Most Important Goals and Projects. Now, why is this important? We all obviously have tons of project mems, tons of goal mems. The thing about this is that it streamlines this daily planning template a bit, because when you look at the template itself, you can see here that it references the master goals and projects uh, at mem. So that way it ties all of the potential tasks that I might be working on tomorrow to those goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Because as MemChat told me, every task should serve a goal and your goal should serve your larger vision, uh, which is the essence of strategic planning. And that's something that I discovered in a conversation with MemChat earlier today. So the first thing I'm going to do, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the tasks that I already have gotten done today, mainly because I notice sometimes there's latency and I also make typos when I'm typing while I'm doing these tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into MemChat and I'm going to tell it to just run Srini daily planning template. So what we're going to do now is say run Srini daily planning template. And so what this ends up doing is it makes the process of planning your days much more interactive. And so I'm going to give it those first tasks that I completed and let it know here that these are the things that I've completed today. And so you'll see throughout this process that it's pretty interactive, which is cool. And uh, it even gives you some insight on what you could be doing. And like I can say here, were there any tasks that you didn't complete today? And I can say, yeah, I had to reschedule my interview with Jerry because I didn't finish reading the book. And so the cool thing about this is that it also allows you to think about, okay, what did I not get done today and what could I have do tomorrow? So you can see here that just based on the fact that I didn't actually finish the book, it's actually suggesting that. And I say, yeah, so there are a couple things I want to do. I want to, one, finish reading Jerry's book and 
let it know his interview has been rescheduled for Monday. And then I'm going to say two, I want to edit my video on daily task planning. with memchat and then i'm going to tell it one more task just for the sake of this video even though there are more i'm going to tell it that i want to write five literature notes for zigzag a book that i'm reading here's the interesting thing about this which is cool is it, it's having me reflect on today so i could say for example if somebody came to deliver a package and it was a bit disruptive because i had to keep attending to them I'd say I need to figure out how to refocus after my focus is derailed. And what's interesting about this is that one of the things that it will actually do is that it will actually give you suggestions and it'll even start doing things like this, which it says, how about trying a mindfulness exercise or a quick round the block, walk around the block to reset. And I'll say, yeah, that's good. Okay. That sounds great. And not only that, it acts as a motivational productivity coach, which is cool. And it says like the key is not to let one off day turn into an off week. So it tells me that I'm doing great, which is actually really cool. And so I can say, okay, thanks. Let's move on. Okay, so here's the funny thing. Now it got a bit derailed in terms of the template. So the thing is that we have to basically tell it to refer back to the daily planning template and say, no, I meant let's move on with Srini's daily planning template for tasks five and six. And so this is one of the things that you'll learn as you communicate with AI is that it basically needs very specific instructions. So what I can do here is I can say, okay, you know what? I gave it the tasks that I want to work on tomorrow. So I'm just going to say, let me just add these and say, okay, why don't you create a schedule for me? And I'll say, here are the tasks. Why don't you suggest a schedule? And you notice that it actually is thinking about what I've told it. it, even said, this is time sensitive and it said, let's schedule this after a lunch break. And it says that this might refer a good amount of focus. And it's telling me to do my literature notes later in the afternoon. And so then what I can say is, okay, great. Write a note titled my most important task for tomorrow. So this is something that I, I caught when I told it to create a mem. So even though it can't respond to the command, create a mem, it can actually respond to the command, write a note. And so I can say, write a note titled tasks for August 31st and include these tasks. And in a matter of a few minutes, we basically used memchat to help us plan out our most important tasks for the day. Now, the other thing we can do is we can actually have it incorporate our projects and say, why don't you ask me about my most important projects or my master projects and goals? But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and just mem it so I have that saved. And the other thing we could do is we could have it suggest potential tasks to work on that. And the reason we like to create a master projects and goals list is that Tiago Forte suggested this in his uh, books, Building a Second Brain, where just one goal with all or one note with all of his like primary goals in life. And so I can ask it for suggestions on how I might do this. I can basically say I've been updating 
old blog post for SEO. And we built the persuasion amplifier template. And so you can see how what ends up happening with this is it takes this idea of planning your day from, some, from something that's passive, where you're just writing a list of things down, into something that's much more interactive and engaging. So this is actually pretty cool. Now, think about this. This actually is suggesting that we actually incorporate some of these tasks into tomorrow. And so what I could say is, yeah, that sounds good. And what I'm thinking is focusing on transcripts for the podcast and adding them to the website. And the other thing that's interesting is that it actually is referring a bunch of different things inside the knowledge base. And basically it's saying, how about dedicating a block of time to review and edit transcripts tomorrow? And I can just say, that sounds good. Let's wrap up the daily planning template. And what you're seeing is that we've done this. And so basically we're on step six and seven, and I can basically say, all right, I'm ready to do this now. And we'll go through our shutdown ritual. I've done all of this and I'm ready to call it a day and say, okay, great. Ready to call it a day. Thanks for your help. And that's that. So effectively what you're doing is you're using MemChat as a productivity coach in this process. So let's go back to the actual steps in how we do this. So the first thing that we needed to do was create a daily planning template of sorts. So you can see here, I have Srini's daily planning template. And then what we want to do is basically just run this template. And that's the cool thing about this is that it effectively allows you to use this template and with just one prompt, plan out your tasks for the next day. And the other thing you want to do, and this is completely optional, you can use the template without necessarily having this, but I just thought it would be a way to test this. And there are a couple of other things you could do to actually do more advanced versions of this. For example, you could create different mems for your tasks with status tags and, and basically tag those as high, low, medium status and incorporate that into this process. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.